Hi, my name is Professor Silver, and in today's class, we'll be breaking down the black and white history of Iris's Dragonite, detailing all its battles, storylines, and character development. Dragonite debuted in Iris and the Rogue Dragonite, having already evolved into his final form. Prior to meeting Iris, Dragonite dedicated himself to getting as strong as possible by seeking strong opponents and challenging them to battle. While battling a wild Hydreigon, Dragonite traded Flamethrower for Hyperbeam and produced a shockwave so powerful that it rippled through the forest and spooked the Pidove beneath them. Rather than let the Pidove be hit in the crossfire, Dragonite forfeited the battle, heroically protected the flock from Dragon Breath, and fell to the earth. Dragonite tried to take his revenge the next morning, but his injured wing caused him to crash into a local power plant and accidentally shut off Andela Town's power. Though Officer Jenny thought Dragonite purposely caused the destruction, Iris didn't believe a dragon would willfully commit evil, set out to prove his innocence, and snuck through his barricade. Despite Dragonite's hostility, Iris broke through his rough exterior, read his heart, learned how he protected the Pidove, and confirmed her suspicion that he wasn't acting in malice. Since Officer Jenny was worried for Iris' safety, she collected Undela Town's strongest trainers, tore through Dragonite's barrier, and launched an all-out assault. Dragonite deflected the first round of attacks, while Iris delayed the second just long enough for Ash to clear Dragonite's name with video evidence. Once the crisis was averted, Iris rushed Dragonite to Nurse Joy for some much-needed medical attention. After getting healed, Dragonite joined Iris' team as he couldn't bear to leave her side even though he hated to admit it. Catching a powerful Pokémon like Dragonite represented a major step forward towards Iris' goal of becoming a Dragon Master. Unfortunately, because Dragonite earned most of his power on his own, reached his final stage with no help, and had a temper hotter than Charizard's, he held little regard for Iris' orders during the World Tournament Junior Cup in jostling for the Junior Cup. Opposite Dragon Buster Georgia's bear tick in the first round, Dragonite ignored Iris, purposely withstood a volley of attacks, barreled through Blizzard, and won with Thunder Punch. Sinnoh champion Cynthia tried to mend Iris and Dragonite's rocky relationship after the battle, but it was too little, too late, as Dragonite ignored Iris during the tournament's second round in battling authority once again. Dragonite followed Iris' command to dodge Dawn's Mamoswine's hidden power, but refused her plea to dodge Ice Shard and rampaged instead. Totally out of Iris' control, Dragonite intercepted Takedown, withstood Ice Shard, threw Mamoswine into the ground, tanked a bevy of attacks, caught Ice Fang, took flight, and won with Dragon Rush. Even though Dragonite disrespected her, Iris used him against Ash's Krokorok in the Junior Cup semifinals in Ash, Iris, and Trip. then there were three. Dragonite opened the match by following Iris' instruction to dodge Krokorok's attacks and strike back with a vengeance, but started losing his composure when struck by Crunch. After Krokorok dodged Ice Beam and did heavy damage with Stone Edge, Dragonite flew away from Crunch, let loose a series of flamethrowers, froze Krokorok, and sent it flying. Rather than quit, Krokorok evolved into Crocodile, drove Dragonite mad with Dragon Claw, capitalized on his anger with Crunch, dodged an ill-timed Dragon Rush, triumphed with Stone Edge, and knocked Iris out of the tournament. Iris despaired at the loss, so Cynthia suggested she deepen her relationship with Dragonite to give him more confidence and trust in her skills as a trainer. In Unova's survival crisis, Dragonite's disobedient streak resulted in massive injury during the gang's battle with the legendary forces of nature. Iris couldn't bear to see Dragonite hurt further, so she leapt to his protection against Thunderous. Pikachu saved them both, but Iris' willingness to sacrifice herself proved to Dragonite once and for all that she would always have his back. From then on, Dragonite did his best to listen to Iris, but occasionally fell into his old ways, as his aggressive nature and desire to be the strongest sometimes clouded his better judgment. For example, while visiting Iris' hometown, the Village of Dragons, in a village homecoming, Dragonite sensed the immense strength of a wild Haxorus and immediately challenged it to battle. The Village Elder interrupted the battle and sued the angry Titans, so Dragonite vented his excess aggression through a team-up with Amolga and Iris' other Pokémon to calm a recently evolved Hydreigon. Iris' quick thinking during the ordeal so impressed Dragon-type gym leader Drayden that he challenged her to a battle at the Opelucid Gym. In Drayden vs. Iris, past, present, and future, Dragonite fought Drayden's Drudigan after Excadrill tied with his Haxorus. During the battle, Dragonite refused to take flight and seize an aerial advantage as he wanted to fight on even footing. To start things off, Drudigan blocked Thunder Punch, landed Dragon Claw, traded Flash Cannon for Flamethrower, and activated Double Team. Dragonite overcame the Speed Clones by trusting Iris to guide his Thunder Punch and then dealt super effective injury with Ice Beam. But Drudigan intercepted Dragon Rush and won with Dragon Tail. Shortly after the match concluded, Dragonite showcased his tender side by teaching an Ampharos how to use Thunder Punch. In flames of a red-hot reunion, Dragonite further proved itself as Iris' most powerful Pokémon by developing an intense rivalry with Ash's Charizard. Since Ash and Iris couldn't stop the two from fighting, they let their Pokémon vent their aggression through a safely monitored battle. 
Dragonite exchanged flamethrowers with Charizard, followed it into the air, and tried to seize victory with Thunder Punch. But Charizard blocked his assault with Wing Attack, sliced through Dragon Rush, and sent him plummeting to the surface with Dragon Tail. Before Charizard finished Dragonite off, Iris' friend N ended the battle as he thought both Pokémon had learned each other's power and gained each other's respect. The two powerhouses fought each other again in Team Plasma's Pokémon manipulation, while Dragonite was mind-controlled by Team Plasma, but they ultimately grew into powerful allies. Together, Dragonite and Charizard conducted scouting missions, saved Demolga, blasted off an Exploud, broke bread together, flexed their muscles, and rescued Mewtwo. Beyond Charizard, Dragonite also befriended Silence Crustle, who fought by its side in Ash and N, A Clash of Ideals, Team Plasma in the Awakening Ceremony, and What Lies Beyond Truths and Ideals. While at the White Ruins, Dragonite and Crustle fought off Team Plasma, protected their trainers, and subdued the villains with their incredible strength. During Iris' adventures in the Decalore Islands, Dragonite froze a Miss Magius, disqualified himself from a sumo tournament for using his tail, and nursed an adversarial relationship with Blackthorn Gym Leader Claire's female Dragonite in Pokémon of a different color. The two dragons never battled each other, but they argued over flowers, competed against each other to open a rusted door, and rudely pushed Charizard aside when it tried to offer its help. Silent theorized the two Dragonites were madly in love, but his suspicions were never confirmed. After Iris finished her Decalore Islands adventures, visited Palatown, left Ash, and traveled to Johto, she challenged Claire to a battle using Dragonite opposite her shiny Drudigan. The shiny blocked Dragon Rush preempted Thunder Punch and overpowered Flamethrower, so Dragonite broke out into a rage and started attacking without volition. Following a clobbering from Drudigan, Iris reminded Dragonite of their unbreakable bond and convinced him to once again fight at her side. Upon resuming the battle, Dragonite dodged Dragon Tail and let loose a vicious combination of Thunder Punch, Dragon Rush, and Ice Beam, but took heavy injury from Dragon Rage. Though he wanted to keep fighting with all his heart, Dragonite fell in defeat while making his way back to the battlefield. Despite losing, Iris felt more connected to Dragonite than ever before, as she knew that no matter how badly Dragonite disobeyed her, their bond could never be broken. Following the battle, Iris followed the legendary dragon Rayquaza into the great beyond and continued her journey to become a Dragon Master. Dragonite won against Georgia's Beartick, Dawn's Mamoswine, a Wild Exploud, and a Wild Dismagius. It lost to Ash's Crocodile, Drayden's Drudigan, and Claire's Shiny Drudigan. Over the course of the series, Dragonite used Flamethrower, Thunder Punch, Ice Beam, and Dragon Rush. Even though Dragonite received solid narrative exposure, fought in epic battles, and advanced Iris' goal, I can't help but wish it joined the series as a Dratini. Had Iris raised Dragonite from his first form, his immense strength would seem far more justified and less like the writers handed Iris her ace on a silver platter. Despite my minor gripes, I truly enjoyed Dragonite's tough-as-nails personality and can't wait to see his comeback in Pokémon Journeys. I'll be tackling Dragonite's return and detailing its character character progression in a future video, so make sure to stay tuned. And with that, class is adjourned. Subscribe and hit the bell so you're never late to class, and for extra credit, like this video and let me know your thoughts on Iris's Dragon. Until next time, catch you later.